Hey guys, welcome back to another Tele Customs episode. Today we have my technician John's iPhone 11. In his words, he's tired of it looking like piss. So today we're gonna do something about that. And right here, please excuse this mess. Right here, I have this black housing and we've already pre-installed the red button. So we've got this black and red combo going on, but I feel like it's still missing something. So let's head on over to the laser machine. There we go. We ran it through the laser one more time to clean off the extra glue. Now we're just prepping this frame for the new back glass and we decided to go with red. And John is a big Star Wars fan, so we're gonna do something special with this one. But before we do that, We'll be adding MagSafe. To do this upgrade, we're gonna have to modify the frame a bit to fit. We're gonna have to make this hole a little bit bigger, and we're gonna have to cut a new one down here so we can put the bottom magnets in. Well, we're gonna have to plot the big boy for this one. I wish I had a new blade, but oh well, let's get it done. Alright, now with the MagSafe sitting nice and flush, it's time to customize the back glass. So let's head back to the laser machine. Alright, now it's time to prep and paint this thing. Let's do it. All right, this thing's finally prepped. Now all we have to do is paint. And yes, I am using an iPad as a palette tray. Some Steve Jobs, Bob Ross type shit. All right, and here it is. Now we just have to glue this thing down. And here it is. Now we just have to add the MagSafe. So we got the MagSafe coil in here. Right here we have a MagSafe charger. And boom. So in theory, this should work. But we all know how finicky iPhones can be. And I'm sure some of you are worried if these magnets are gonna affect the motherboard. Now, I'm not a physicist, so I'm not sure, but I did find a study that Kapton tape has something called the Meissner effect, and that pretty much blocks out magnets. Now that's a rough description, but hey, this tape that I use for micro soldering might be good to block these batteries. So I'm gonna put this on here and see what happens. Hopefully nothing uh, affects the motherboard. With that done, all that's left is putting everything that's in here into here. And there we go. This thing's almost indistinguishable from a standard iPhone 11, other than a few pieces of cap on tape, of course. But as all of you know, this thing's got something special, and that's MagSafe. Ah. And it works. That's right. We also designed it to where the charger covers up the Imperial Guard logo. I guess you can put MagSafe on anything. Now that we know this works, it could work on anything that has a wireless charging coil for iPhones starting with the iPhone 8 and up. For Androids, honestly, anything that has a wireless charger. I won't be sealing this up all the way as usual because I have a few more upgrades on the way, but let's go ahead and close this thing up 
can hear those satisfying pops. Not too crunchy today, but hey, maybe you'll hear that somewhere else.